I've been making lures for uh, six years, seven years, six or seven years. I don't know exactly when I started, but I wanted to show. I want to show you guys something. These are some of the first lures I've ever made. The first lure I've ever made was this. I'm not sure you can call this a lure. Would you call that a lure? It does have a place to put a hook and it has a place to tie your line. I tried to make a wooden lip for it and it broke off. I, I wasn't very serious about making a lure. This is just what I came up with because I had the idea to make a lure. And I don't really even remember why I had the idea to make a lure. Completely unexplainable and random. I don't know why I started making lures, I just did. I think not long after that, I made these, because I realized the cool lures had joints. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> and I stepped it up, I put some more detailed wood carving into the back of this one. It's got a, it's got a mouth. I don't know what I was going for there, but it, it has that. A nice, uh, that's just m mild steel. That would rust if it had water on it. Clothes pin. Yeah, I was going for something there, I don't know what. This one's still got the hooks. You know, if I'm being honest, that just kind of looks like a turd with hooks on it. But yeah, I just made all of those in my dad's garage. He had a belt sander, a lot like that one. He had more of a metal shop going on in there. But yeah, I just went to town on these and filled his shop up with wood dust and uh, just seeing what I could do. Stuff like this. No paint yet. Just bandsaw and a belt sander and a drill, a hand drill and I shoved wire through them, screwed screw eyes into them, and I never even tested these out. I just knew that they weren't very acceptable as lures. I was just trying to see what I could do. But then, I moved on to stuff like this. I made three of these. Maybe just two. Maybe I lost one. These were the first lures I've ever painted. Once again, made with a bandsaw and a belt sander and a uh, drill. Just screwed screw eyes into them. I don't know what kind of wood these are. And this is the first time I ever made a plastic lip and put it in a bait. That is just plexi, some kind of polycarbonate. It's not lexin, it's not strong. I could break that with my fingers. But yeah, I thought I was like getting somewhere with these. I numbered them. I gave them names. I don't know why they're sticky. I guess they're something on them sticky. But yeah, those really made me think I could get somewhere and make good lures someday, you know? I didn't like the finish on them though. It's ugly. So I went out and I got some pens because I didn't have an airbrush. Those were done with uh, rattle can spray paint. But with the pens, I was able to get a lot more detailed. This doesn't even have a clear coat on it. This one does. I used a spar varnish. I just dipped it in spar varnish like five times and that's the clear coat. And it's pretty tough. I mean, that works. You can buy spar varnish at any hardware store and it's, it makes for a pretty good clear coat. It takes a while to dry, but uh, that works. I just opened up these screw eyes and put the hook on it and closed them back up. That's how I used to do it. But I tested this lure. I took the screw eye out of the nose because I wanted to use it for something else back in the day, but I tested this lure and it actually ran good. This was my first lure that I made, painted, clear coated, tested, and it worked. I was probably the most proud of making a lure I've ever been. I even put my initials on it. That's a keeper. Not long after that, I made this. Probably that same week. I was looking around on eBay. A lot of people, well not a lot of people, but people sell lures on eBay. And then it was like, boom, I can make money doing this. I'm gonna try to make lures and sell them on eBay. Money can be quite the motivator, but that didn't go anywhere for a long time. This lure worked good. It's got a nice, it actually has a shimmy and the tail is a Kellen's grub tail. Worked good, it works good. You could catch a fish with this for sure. 
the eBay thing. The first baits that I ever posted to eBay, and I should not have. These are not good baits. Not sale worthy, you know, but I posted these to eBay and they did not sell. Can you tell why? I don't know why these didn't sell. They used to have screw eyes in them and hooks on them. I think I posted them. I wanted like 30 bucks a piece for them. <laughs> Just being honest, that's what I did. I think I posted this one too. Didn't work out for me initially. It's no reason to give up though. So I made more stuff like this. Still had my pens. Didn't have an airbrush yet. So I was carving on wood and trying to color those carvings with pen and get as detailed as I could with that kind of stuff. Here's another one that I did that actually has a clear coat on it. This one actually runs pretty good too. And by pretty good, I mean it wobbles a little bit and does something in the water. That's all I was able to get back then. Yeah, I got, I got quite a bit of this kind of stuff. Again, I was making this kind of stuff, trying to post it to eBay and sell it and nothing would sell. I'm sure you do not know why something like this would not sell. It's unimaginable. I mean, you'd buy that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and then the day came when my older brother, he was getting married and he needed a, he needed gifts to give the groomsmen to say thank you for being in his wedding. And I think he felt sorry for me. I wasn't selling nothing. I wasn't getting anywhere. He asked if I could make some lures and he bought some lures from me to give as gifts to the groomsmen. And these are the lures that I made. I spilled a little bit of white paint on this one. I don't know why, but I think this is the first time I've ever foiled a lure. I really wanted to outdo myself, so I uh, added some foil to these baits. I think this is the uh, aluminum foil for metal ductwork. Here's another one. I did like uh, little triangles on this one. <laughs> so to anybody who's ever received these, I'm sorry. I was trying. Um, but that was a good lesson. That really encouraged me to step up my game and make some good baits that sell. I didn't have an airbrush yet, but I bought a mini lathe. I've sold it since, but I bought a mini lathe and I was in my bedroom at my parents' house with a mini lathe, wood churning lures. This is one of the first ones of those. Went with the foil again on the belly, did some spots on the back. This one runs good, I tested this one right after it was done. I think I put this on eBay too. Didn't sell. I did some weird stuff like this too at around that same time. A lot of this stuff, it doesn't have the hardware in it because I've taken it out and used it on something else, but just weird stuff like that. But then I got an airbrush. I think my parents bought me one for Christmas or my birthday. It was gifted to me. And an airbrush really helps when it comes to lure making. I would encourage anybody who wants to make lures and make them look good to go get an airbrush because there's a lot you can do with an airbrush. The first lure I made using my airbrush was this little dude. And yes, I still have it. That means it did not sell. But you see the scale pattern on the side. That was probably my first attempt at ever making a scale pattern on a lure with an airbrush. And it didn't turn out too bad. But yeah, this lure's clear coat's all yellowed and it's a spar urethane spar varnish. It's ugly, but we're getting somewhere. The next one, I actually made this. I didn't make it for Chelsea. I just gave it to Chelsea. This was when I was, I was 18 or 19. And I put this on eBay and it, I thought this bait was going to be like, boom, but it was like chirp, chirp. Nobody cared. Nobody wanted it. I think I even put this as a 99 cent auction on eBay. Started it out and nobody wanted it. <laughs> it's okay, let's give it to Chelsea. And then it happened. One of these, I made like 10, maybe. I don't really remember how many I made of these. I'm assuming it was like 10 of these. I turned them on my wood lathe in my bedroom. I painted them with my airbrush in my bedroom. I really went at it and I did my best and I did as clean as work as I could. I think I still have these two because they weren't up to snuff. They weren't, there's some imperfections on, I don't know, this one's all right. It just doesn't have a lip. Maybe I just didn't put a lip in this one and didn't sell it. I don't know, but this is a lot what they were like. The ones that actually sold for the first time on eBay for like mu as much money as a lure sells for. But people bought these for like 
15 bucks each. I know, Mr. Big Money over here. And then boom, then I sold a lot after that because I got better. I need to find examples of the other, the eBay baits, one sec. I honestly have like no examples of eBay lures in my possession. I made sure to sell everything. Every eBay auction I did, I started out at 99 cents just to make sure everything sold. And I made hundreds of baits. I did that for years, maybe like three years. I'll, f I'll throw up some pictures. I have a lot of pictures. I have all the pictures of every bait I've ever made and posted on eBay. I'll just throw some up right now. I also sold baits on Facebook. There were groups of people. There's like musky pages, people who want musky lures, and there's swim bait pages where there's baits for sale. Just guys selling baits to other guys. And I took advantage of that quite a bit too. Yeah, I'd do it all. I'd sell little baits like this on eBay. Um, big baits. I think these are in a YouTube video. But yeah, that's pretty similar to what I'd sell back in the day. I've done runs of like soft plastic baits. There's a pre-rigged rainbow trout. This bait actually works really good. This is an open top pour mold. Molded one, soft plastics. Some smaller ones like that. But yeah, it's making a lot more swim baits too. Big wooden ones like this. These are extremely labor intensive. Made some little mice ones too. There's a big mouse with the tail and everything. Top water, those work good. By the time I was making these, I stopped selling on eBay. I was trying to get more into the, I want like a lineup of baits, not just making everything as an individual bait, but like produce more of the same thing and it's a really, really good thing, kind of thing, if you know what I mean. A lineup. And I was making stuff like this. I still have the molds for these. That's a seven inch trout. And this is a seven and a half inch shad bait that I made. I still have the molds for these too. There's a YouTube video about the, these also. The entire build is on YouTube somewhere. But yeah, that period of time when I was making baits, posting them to eBay, trying to sell them on Facebook, doing everything I could to try to sell baits. It was like five years grinding away at that. It's not easy trying to sell a bait. It's not easy making baits. It's a lot of effort to put into one thing that might sell. It's a tough way to make a living. But honestly, when you're in that position, it, it really encourages you to get good at what you're doing. Whether you're making baits or candles or crafts of any kind. I don't know why I said candles, but it really encourages you to get good at whatever your craft is. I would recommend it. Just don't go hungry, but I would recommend it. Nothing like the wolf snipping at your heels to encourage you to get good at something. But now, it's absolutely mind-blowing that I make YouTube videos. I shoot videos in my garage about making lures. Post them to YouTube, and I get by doing that. Would not have thought that that is what I would be doing. But that's what I'm doing, and it's great. Would have gladly done this from the start. I wouldn't have got as good at making lures, but I try to push my limits with what I make on YouTube here. Tune up my skills a little bit, you know? Don't get, don't get soft. But yeah, now I make stuff like that. Uh, most of my stuff is in the house that I've made for YouTube. I got the toe biter out here though. It's one of my favorite lures. This thing's creepy. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, from start to finish my lure making career. I thought I was just gonna show you guys some uh, old baits that I made, but I kind of said everything.